This Nintendo Direct leak is absolutely insane. What is Mario Kart X? Let's talk all about it. What's happening, my Block Buddies, and welcome to a brand new episode of Blocked Content's Leak Speak. My name is Callum, and this is going to be your content for today. We get to dive in into a Nintendo Direct leak that talks about so many cool things that actually feel too good to be true, but also some stuff that feels very realistic. So I want to take the time to talk to you guys about Bayonetta 3, about Kingdom Hearts ports, and even Pikmin 3 finally coming to the Nintendo Switch, and of course, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate DLC. Yes, we might have an idea for the challenger pack number seven and challenger pack number eight of course i know a lot of you guys listening to this video really you know want to find out who that character is and have you know very specific ideas yourself on who you want to have in super smash brothers ultimate and i see all your comments i read through them and i think that you guys are very creative well today we have a very safe bet and something very very out of the ordinary as well and of course we get to talk all about the mario 35th anniversary because that is coming up that is really exciting nintendo really Really doesn't want to talk all that much about it but we do know that something is happening and the biggest thing about today's video I feel is something called Mario Kart X which you know we can theorize all about I'll talk about this entire leak and basically break down everything that is in here even characters and stuff like that and I can't wait to talk with you guys about what's coming next for Nintendo and of course I've been answering many of you guys questions about Smash Ultimate and new fighters in our show question block where I answer your questions what do I think of your favorite game how do you start making YouTube content? Well, whatever you can think of, send your question through to blockedcontentmail at gmail.com and I will answer your question live on the show in our next Question Blocked episode. And here's a brand new giveaway. You can win one of these Super Mario Surprise Capsules from Tomy. Any Mario item, Yoshi, a different character could be inside and I leave them closed so you can find out who's inside when you win. I'm giving away all four, so remember to press thumbs up, like this video, subscribe to Blocked Content right now to enter for that giveaway. So please comment down below. All right, guys. Let's head into the main topic of today, and that is this leak, and it actually says pipe leaks incoming. So that could be a little pun on Mario and of course pipes, and then of course leakage, right? Nintendo Direct 7 2020. And of course, a lot of these things have been happening over the past couple of weeks because we all can feel it, the 20th is nearing and something is gonna happen. So let's talk this like through entirely. Super Mario 35th Anniversary 3D Collection includes Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, and Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2. Super Mario 3D World Port with a bunch of new content. It's releasing in September. And then Mario Kart X, which is releasing holiday 2020, so this year, which would be insane. New and returning characters are revealed. Diddy Kong, Dixie Kong, Birdo, then Pauline, and Professor E. Gad. Then we get a The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 trailer. It's releasing in 2021, and we get a new trailer. No More Heroes 3 gets a trailer, and Bayonetta 3 gets a small teaser trailer. Danganronpa 10 year anniversary ports, and then we get Kingdom Hearts 1 plus 2 ports. Then we get a Pikmin 3 port, which is crazy, I thought that Pikmin 4 would probably be on the horizon next, and then a brand new 2D Metroid. A lot of leaks in the past couple of weeks have been talking about a new 2D Metroid, so maybe something is happening on that front. Then the Smash Brothers news you've all been waiting for, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate DLC Fighters Pass number 7 is Geno from Super Mario RPG and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate's DLC Fighter Pass number 8 is the Ultimates from Danganronpa. Shin Megami Tensei 5 finally gets a reveal and gameplay trailer, and it's releasing in January of next year. Well, there's so much to break down here, a lot of things that you guys have sent my way and are very excited about. I mean, the idea that The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 will be releasing next year is nothing new or nothing novel. I think that that is most likely to actually happen with everything going on in the world, but also just because that game needs Needs to be so well made that game needs to follow up the game of the year of that year you know breath of the wild one was such an incredible such a wide game and i think that if you make a sequel to a masterpiece it's probably gonna have to hold up right you're gonna have to force yourself to make that a masterpiece as well then let's talk about mario kart x yes it's not going to be called mario kart 9 and x sometimes even stands for 10 right so the idea of mario kart 9 not being the next game is a little bit weird but of course 
naming conventions for the Mario Kart games have always been a little bit weird, right? Mario Kart Wii, and then Mario Kart DS, and then uh, somehow they got numbered games back with Mario Kart 7. That kind of stuff is pretty crazy, so the X doesn't really make all that much sense in that context, right? But new and returning characters to be Diddy Kong and Dixie Kong I think is really cool. With Mario Kart Tour now, people are starting to realize, oh wait, it's actually really easy for them to add characters. They have all these models, they have all these animations, so if we get a new Mario Kart on consoles, they'll probably port over many of the Mario Kart Tour assets, right? And all of these characters that I mentioned are pretty much all in Tour already, with the exception of Professor Egad as of this moment of recording. However, I do think that Egad is now back in the picture with Luigi's Mansion 3, so I could see that happening pretty much instantly, right? I think Pauline would be a great racer in a Mario Kart game as well. I think it's a really cool idea to have her in a mainline console Mario Kart game. Now, the idea of getting all these ports, I think is a little bit much, right? Even if you list them like this, it's like, you know, Dagon Rampa anniversary ports, then Kingdom Hearts 1 plus 2 ports, then Pikmin 3 port. I mean, it feels like there's so much stuff here that you even seem to feel a little bit weird about the Mario 35th anniversary because they would essentially just be ports too, right? And 3D World is also a separate port, not in that collection. So yeah, if you want all this content that was in different consoles, that was in different generations, then then that is a really good and really safe bet, but it does kind of feel like we don't get any new great content from this developer, so that could also feel a little bit stale and a little bit samey, right? So I'm really curious if you guys have any specific thoughts on the characters here, especially for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Do you think a Rampa rep is coming to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? Is that a little bit too much out of left field? And of course, Gino, I think, is going to be revealed as the next character. There is a lot of precedent for Gino actually being in Smash Ultimate, not just because the Mii costume is missing in action. I don't think that we'll get a, you know, a bigger Mii costume that actually feels like Gino. I think that Gino might be a character, and we might actually get a reveal trailer that's very close to like the K. Rule stuff, or even the Banjo-Kazooie stuff, where it kind of builds on another trailer and kind of plays with the audience, like winking and saying, we know you want Gino, you know, the mainline fans, so here is the character in all its glory. I think that something like that is going to happen. So, yeah, I'm very excited about everything that's mentioned here. If this was a real direct, then I would probably lose my stuff. I would be very, very excited about everything that's announced here because I just want more information on those new games like Metroid, the new Legend of Zelda game, a new Mario collection would be something out of a dream. So I would be extremely happy if this became real, but right now we just don't know. We'll have to wait and see if all of this news will actually materialize into something real, right? So of course, I'd love to hear what you guys think of all this news of today. If you comment down below, that could actually be featured and read out loud in our next video. And today's comment question is, of course, do you think a brand new Mario Kart game is coming. And as for previous comment question winner, our answer comes to us from our user, Mark Cabanis, saying, they could be ports or remakes, honestly, talking about the Mario collection. One question, why is there no mention of Super Mario Galaxy 2 in any of those leaks? It would fit in very well with its direct predecessor, 64, and with Sunshine, not to mention that it's the more acclaimed of the two Galaxy games, so not having it would be a huge missed opportunity. So Mark, thank you so much for sending in your comment. I want to echo these thoughts, but I also want to say there have been a couple of leaks in the past couple of days that have all included Super Mario Galaxy 2 in that list, so you might actually get your wish these things seem closer than ever before. I do believe that if they do a collection like this, then Galaxy 2 would feel kind of like an extra, right? I mean, it is a sequel to one of the big Mario 3D platformers. So if you do a collection, I could see them doing it like one game for each era of Mario. So that could be in favor of not having two. But I also really like two. I think my favorite of the two games is still the first Galaxy, just because I think that that is story-wise just a little bit of a better game. And that does kind of matter to me, even in a Mario game. But yes, I totally feel you. I think that they should definitely include the game if they have it, right? I mean, it doesn't really make any sense to not include the more acclaimed game in that series. So, yeah, I really want to find out if that is true, if they include Mario Galaxy 2. So thank you so much for sending in all your comments. These are always so much fun to read through. And of course, a big shout out to our latest Patreon supporters and the super chats you guys sent during live streams. You guys make block content possible. So if you want to have yourself created in blocked content style or join me for a discussion or even have your own ideas become videos, go to patreon.com slash blocked content. There's a bunch of 
incredible rewards there and they're waiting just for you. And remember, if you're not yet a member of the Blocked Content family yet, hit subscribe now, smash that like button and ring the bell for notifications and all the news and fun you care about will be delivered on the daily to you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you around the corner where there's always more Blocked Content. See ya!